Tidal Energy Limited is a leading technology development company based in the UK. We have designed and constructed a full-scale tidal turbine known as Delta Stream to demonstrate electricity generation from a fast-flowing tidal stream. This film provides a unique opportunity to explore Delta Stream's key patented technology ahead of the successful installation at Wales' first tidal test site in Ramsey Sound, Pembrokeshire in December 2015. At Tidal Energy Limited, we've designed and built a subsea turbine that's going to extract the power of the tide and convert it to electricity. Our Delta Stream demonstration unit that you can see behind me here is a single nacelle 400 kilowatt turbine based on three legs on the, the main base frame. That turbine at 400 kilowatts is sufficient to supply power to 350 to 400 homes when it's operating at full power. A principal component of our drivetrain is the rotor. You can see the rotor behind me at the moment. It's three bladed, 12 meters diameter rotor, which has got fixed pitch blades on there. Having a fixed pitch rotor means that we have to yaw the hull of the drivetrain to face the oncoming tide. The blade design is such that it extracts maximum efficiency, maximum power out of the tidal flow. In Ramsey Sound, that tidal flow is six knots. It's quite an excessive flow there. The rotor itself will only turn at a rated speed of about 10 RPM fairly slowly. And environmentally, that's really friendly to our marine creatures that are living down there. So the rotors are constructed of an epoxy and glass composite. They're very different to wind turbine blades in their size and shape because water is roughly 800 times as dense as air. The blades have a very long cord length. This allows us to keep high efficiency in the blades whilst rotating very slowly. The Delta Stream concept is to keep the design as simple as possible. and We've done that in the nacelle by keeping the number of components to a minimum. There's only three main components. The first one is the rotor, mounted on the front of the chassis. The next is a gearbox, which is flange mounted to. And that rates the speed up from 10 RPM to 700. There's a short shaft that mounts the, the gearbox to the generator, and the generator is hung directly off the back of the nacelle. You can see it as the lighter grey box at the back. The generator is water-cooled by the seawater around it. One of the unique features of the Delta Stream design is the shape of the tower. It's designed to be open and that allows the water to flow through it. And the main aim of that is to reduce the back pressure on the blades as they pass the tower. That really helps improve the efficiency of the blade and reduce the loading on the structure. Our base frame is a lightweight structure. Having said that, this port tube that you see above me here is 16 metres long. It's 2.2 metres diameter inside it, and it's made of 20 mil thick steel. Not so light, perhaps. The rest of this frame is made up of, like I said, three nodes, two at the forward end and this one at the rear end. So the nacelle itself is mounted on a large pinsel bearing. As you can see, directly underneath the drivetrain, we've got the yaw mechanism. This is the frame at the back of the two very large hydraulic rams. They allow the nacelle to be driven into the ebb and flow current. The nacelle can yaw up to 100 degrees in either direction from its starting position as you see here. So Clive's already talked about the fact this is a gravity-based structure. Integral to that is the design of the feet. As you can see here, the rock foot is designed to provide a small amount of penetration into the seabed geology. That stops the device from sliding along the seabed and it helps to keep it in place. Connecting a turbine like this electrically is no easy matter. We've already laid our submarine cable into Ramsey Sound. There's 1400 metres of it laid there and the first thing we'll need to do when we install the device is to recover the end of that cable to be able to connect it. 
Again, that's no easy matter. The cable we're talking about is this. This is a sample of it. This is just one meter and this weighs 17 kilos. As you can see, it's got six power cores in there. Three of those we use to import power to the device and three of them we use for exporting power. Importantly, it's got 24 fiber optics here. This is what we use for control and data acquisition. Really important part of it. Now, once we've got this onto the surface, it'll have a, what's called a mechanical termination on here. Now, what we'll also have on there, on the power cores and on the fiber optics, are what's called dry mate connectors to protect the cable and to stop it bending, to stop it pulling out. Once we've got all this connected, we then lift the cable and the device off the installation vessel and lower those down to the seabed. We're now inside the starboard tube of the base frame. As you can see, it's a large area. This is two meters diameter inside here, and it gives us plenty of space to house the main electrical cables. As we go further into the tube here, you can see we've got protrusions coming through from various points. For instance, here we've got the cable coming down from one of the hydrophones, which we have four on board. And again, that has to be combined together with the brains of our equipment we've got here. These brains are housed inside this uh, electronic steel compartment. This is the only chance we'll have to see this. Once this is installed in the water, we're completely under the water here itself. This is flooded. So welcome to Ramsey Sound. On the very western tip of Wales, this is a fantastic location for tidal stream power. We've identified this location over the last 10 years to understand how it can provide a clean source of renewable energy for the people of Pembrokeshire. The location is fantastic for tidal stream power. The flow of water goes up to speeds of about six knots. It's also very close to grid connection. Here at St Justinian's, we have 11 kV and we can power, put power into um, St David's City. And also it's about 30 nautical miles from Pembroke Dock, where we have fantastic port facilities and local skills and labor to help us do our work. The area, however, is beautiful as you can see. It's a designated area of outstanding natural beauty and it's also got various sensitivities with regard to marine mammal and other environmental impacts. An essential part of our project is to provide the knowledge of how a turbine could potentially affect those um, environments, particularly with regard to marine mammals. So welcome to St Justinians. This is overlooking Ramsey Sound where the device will be installed. This is our control compound and our control container. From here we can operate all the systems on board the device. We can turn it on, yaw it into the current, operate through a tidal cycle and turn the device off again. Also in here are the rest of the environmental monitoring systems. This is the main operating page. From here we can tell the system health at the high level and we can operate the device. Thank you for watching. We hope that you found this film of interest. We have only given a short synopsis of our capabilities. For more information, please do not hesitate to contact us or visit our website at www.tidalenergylimited.com.